What's up? Welcome to another quarantine workout. My name is Chris Gomez. I go for, um, by at CrossFlipper on Instagram. You can DM me there if you have any questions. Let's go ahead and start today's quarantine workout with our warm up. We're going to go three rounds of this, starting with 25 jumping jacks. So go ahead and go nice and easy, 25 of them. Okay, once we're done with our 25 jumping jacks, what we're going to get into after that is you're going to need to grab a PVC pipe. If you don't have a PVC pipe, you can grab a broomstick or some kind of a, a um, something straight to balance on. You can balance on the pole and we're going to go 10 vertical leg swings on each side of the leg. So uh, go ahead and get those done. Okay, when you're done with your 10 there, go ahead and switch off to the other side hitting 10 leg swings here as you can see me demonstrate. I've got way more balance on my left side than I do my right side for whatever reason. So um, it's normal to have a little bit of an imbalance there. Okay, and then once we're done there, we're gonna switch to hor horizontal leg swings. So we're gonna go 10 on each side. This one is meant to open the hip flexors. Okay, once we're done with 10 on that side, Go ahead and switch to 10 on the other side. Okay, once again, you can see there that imbalance in my leg. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. My uh, right side definitely doesn't have as much stability as my left side for whatever reason. And that's completely normal. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to get into our overhead squats. So um, you're going to put the PVC pipe or your broomstick overhead. You want to push up on this bar and create tension on that bar. You can see my bar is bending a little bit there as I'm squatting up and down. We want to keep the heels and toes firmly planted on the ground and push those knees out, okay? this um, You need to use your core to keep those knees pushed out. This one can be a struggle sometimes, even with um, weight like a PVC pipe. So once you're done there, we're gonna go ahead and repeat this warm up two more times that way we're nice and ready for our workout. So get back into your jumping jacks. Remember, we're gonna do 25 of them. We're gonna follow that with 10 vertical leg swings on each side. And then we're gonna go ahead and follow that with 10 horizontal leg swings on each side. And we close it off with 10 overhead squats with the PVC pipe. So um, get two more rounds down and then we'll go ahead and get into our strength component for today. So I'm going to go ahead and let my warm up play out here. If um, you get the idea and you just want to skip forward to the next part, go ahead and feel free to do so. Otherwise, finish your three rounds here. You can follow along with me or you can go at your own pace. Remember that if you want to pause this video and go get a drink of water or help your kids out with something or um, you just get a phone call, go ahead and do so and you can pick up where you left off. The important part about this is that you modify the movements to your own skill ability. So uh, go ahead and do that and I will talk to you when we get into the strength component.
Okay guys, here we go for our string component. What we've got here is a bicep curl and lunge complex. So the way this works is we're gonna do a bicep curl on each side. We'll get into a lunge position and do another bicep curl on each side. We'll get into a standing position and do a bicep curl on each side. We kneel back down with the opposite leg and do a bicep curl on each side. And we go back to the beginning, okay? This is set number two right here that you see. I'm starting off with my milk jugs just to show you guys if you don't have weights and alternative you can do. So the milk jugs tend to be a little bit lighter than um, your conventional dumbbell or kettlebell. So I'm kind of using this as a warm up set. I did have a little bit of trouble with um, that milk jug with the pink cap. If you look later um, when I'm doing the tricep extensions, the next movement, um, it starts to leak all over me. So um, you gotta just kind of um, play it by ear and go with what you got, especially when you're in quarantine right now. Okay, so I've got a few more sets. See, I'm up to lunge, bicep curl on each side, standing position, bicep curl on each side, and back down the lunge, bicep curl on each side, and then back to the beginning, bicep curl. There we go, lunge position, bicep curl on each side, and standing, bicep curl on each side. It's important to keep your core nice and tight, okay, and alternate legs, okay? I know it can get confusing, especially when you're doing five sets of this. I believe this one is my last set for the first round. Okay, stand up. There you go, keep that core nice and tight. We don't wanna see arched backs here as we're moving along here. So um, there it is, that's uh, set one there. We're super setting this with a um, lunging tricep extension, okay? So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get go ahead and hit 10 of these. Okay, and for set number two, I decided to move to the dumbbell. So here you see a curl on each side, back up to the lunge position. Okay, and I'm standing up here, curl on each side. Kneeling back down, curl on each side there. And kneeling down uh, all the way, both leg, knees on the ground, curl on each side. Okay, remember to keep that core nice and tight throughout this. Right here, I'm using 15 pound dumbbells, okay? And you can see I'm starting to get a little bit windy, winded even with the 15s, okay? So you'll get a good workout regardless of what you have. Another thing you can probably use if you don't have uh, weights available to you is you could get two paver bricks if you have them and just uh, lift those up, just something that your palm is big enough to fit around there, okay? So um, the thing about this is it gets uh, difficult because of the volume that we're doing. We're doing five sets of this complex there. Complexes are great because um, they train your brain as well. Your brain um, is following along with what your body is doing. Okay, so you can, it's really easy to get confused and it just fo fo forces you to stay focused. Okay, almost done with this um, second set here. Okay, and here's my second set of the lunging tricep extensions. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna bring them all the way back down to my hips and then up as I lunge. We're alternating here. Of course, it's gonna be five on each side. And after the bicep complex, I mean, this just feels like death, especially as you get into rounds four. Okay, keep the core tight and try not to swing so much. I can see myself swinging as I'm watching this again. And you're just definitely not gonna wanna swing too much, okay? We wanna isolate the triceps as we're doing this movement. Okay, so once you're done with your second set of tricep extensions, take your short break and then we'll get ready to hit our third set. Okay, and this is my third set right here. I started with the 20s on this one. So remember, we're gonna hit that bicep curl complex five times, and then we're gonna move right into the tricep curl complex. Make sure you take your one minute break when you're done here, and then move on to the next set. Guys, just keep that core nice and tight. 
try not to swing and use your entire bicep to bring it up, okay? Uh, we definitely want to maintain good posture throughout this movement. into those um, tricep lunge extensions, okay? We're doing both arms at the same time as opposed to alternating with the bicep curl that we did earlier, okay? So, you know, um, that does get a little bit difficult. Just remember to alternate your leg as you're doing this, okay? So um, it doesn't matter whether you start on your left or the right. It's really a point of preference there, okay? But um, just try not to let momentum take it up and let your tricep do a majority of the work. And remember to keep that core nice and tight. And here we go, getting into set number four of our lunging bicep curl complex, okay? This is the part, uh, probably about the part where your body will start fatiguing out, okay? So you definitely got to stay focused. You definitely got to keep breathing, okay? And then don't get confused of where you are, okay? Keep a good count as you're doing this, okay? Um, you, you could just see by the look on my face that, you know, like this is starting to burn a lot, both in the biceps and the triceps, okay? Um, I'm using an, a um, yoga mat for a little bit of cushioning there on my knees, okay? Of course, you can do this on bare floor. You can do it on grass. You can use a beach towel or just any old um, blanket that you have if that'll make it easier. Just something that has a little bit more grip to it and won't be sliding around, okay? Because you're gonna definitely wanna plant that lunging foot down, okay? Where it gets hard is on the knees more than anything, okay? So um, go ahead and push through that fourth and fifth round are the hardest. <laughs> Okay, and now we're ready for our fourth set of lunging tricep extensions. This one moves a lot faster and has a lot more lunging than the bicep curls do, do for sure, okay? Um, we finished this um, probably in half the time that we it takes us to do the bicep curl complex. So remember when you're done with this one, uh, give yourself a minute and a half to two and a half minutes of break time just so that um, you can regain it and you won't get sloppy with your movements, okay? We want solid sets there. Okay, so um, just go ahead and keep that core tight and keep working. Okay, and this is our fifth and final set of our bicep curl complex, okay? Five, five times through the whole thing, okay? Once you get to standing, you still have one more movement left and that's the second kneel on the second leg. Okay, here comes the second set here. Lunge up, curl, it doesn't matter which arm you start with or which leg you go down with, okay? Just as long as you're hitting both of them. Okay, one leg you're gonna be hitting on the way up, one leg you're gonna be hitting on the way down. And go at your pace, you don't have to go so fast, okay? You can slow this down and go as fast or as slow as you need to, okay? You need to modify every single workout that we do for your own pace, okay? And um, you can see I'm starting to swing there and that's mainly due to fatigue, okay? So finish this one off and we've got one more set of leg, of lunging tricep extensions okay so get ready for that one um don't take more than 
10 seconds of break in between the two movements okay that's part of the burn is that we go straight from biceps to triceps and our legs continue to work <laughs> fifth and final set of our tricep lunging extensions here okay so um by this time you're probably way out of gas all right if you got up over 20 pounds if you have that available to you um good for you um get as far as you can um you know just try and maintain good form throughout and keep that core tight this can be done with a single kettlebell overhead okay so um if you only have a single kettlebell you would grab it by both horns and just rise it and let it uh, drop down before be behind your head just be careful not to bang that kettlebell over on your head on the back of your head on that um come down there okay um you could see my core starting to fatigue there but um just get it done and then we'll take a couple minutes of break and we'll get in a metcon <music> And for today's Metcon, we've got five different movements, okay? We're going to start with 100 reps of these Russian le uh, lunges, okay? So it's a Russian because we pick the knee up, we lunge back down, and then pick the knee up. Get that knee as high or close to the chest as we possibly can, okay? So um, just lunge as far back as you're comfortably doing. We're going to start with 100 of these bad boys, okay? So what I like to do is I like to face one direction for um, 10 reps, and then I'll turn around and face another direction. That way um, I know I'm at 10 right there. And I know when I finish my 10 here, I'm gonna be at 20. Okay, so um, it helps me kind of keep track where I am, especially when you're doing one rep of something. Okay, so um, this is after the lunges that we did for our strength component. And this is where our legs are really gonna start to burn. Once I got into like probably rep 40 or 50, my legs were absolutely on fire. Okay, so remember on the Metcon, you want to go at your pace. I definitely go for a target set. You know, I want to do these in sets of, of 40, 20 to 40, and then take a rest once I hit that target. Um, I definitely want to count in my head um, what my rest is. So um, I was trying to take 10 second breaks in between this one. Okay, so um, you can see my legs are already on fire. I'm about 30 reps in here with 70 to go. Okay, the good thing about this Metcon is that the um reps start to go down okay so the the first part of it might take you a little bit long it might take you into the four minute range to finish okay but it's only gonna get better even if the movement gets a little bit harder just um know that you're gonna be done with this movement for good and you're not gonna have to do any other movement okay so uh finish these off okay remember you don't have your knee doesn't have to touch the ground if your range of motion doesn't allow it should just be as um far as you can uh, go okay if you just want to do a hundred regular lunges that's fine if you also want to do a hundred walking lunges um that's fine too okay and i use the wadproof app for my timer um you can do the same it will record you because it's an app that's meant to um for you to um demonstrate that you are doing the workouts as um, prescribed it's used by a lot of competitors i highly recommend it and i have no like sponsorship or affiliation to them but, um, you know, if you got to delete those videos or it's going to eat up space on your uh, mobile device here. OK, so I'm already getting your set 60, almost done with these lunges. OK, and I'll go ahead and be quiet now and I'll uh, talk to you when we get into movement two. what we're going to be doing for our 80s.
Okay, and just like I told you earlier, um, the lunges took me close to five minutes here. What we're gonna be doing now is alternating um, bent over rows, okay? We did rows earlier in the week and um, we were using a bench to kind of stabilize ourselves. This one is gonna burn your core as much as it burns your lats and your biceps, especially after the workout that we just did. Um, you use your core to kind of hold yourself uh, in position. The ones we did earlier in the week, we, were, we had our hand planted on a bench or a box or a chair okay um what i want to do is definitely keep my chest forward okay and then find a rhythm okay i'm doing these in sets of 10 and taking a short break in between to um, finish them off 80 of them do get um kind of nasty your grip does t tend to get sweaty okay so just uh lean forward and keep your eyes up all right and remember that you can use your milk jugs for these if you don't have any weight available you can also use a dumbbell okay or if you don't really don't have anything at all um a band or a bungee cord um you could step on that and get some tension going and and get the same stimulus okay so um just pull back get that elbow up nice and high okay and i will see you at the next movement Okay, here we go for the round of 60 what we're doing is um we're going um with an abdominal movement we're, we're going legs over our dumbbell our barbell i mean our dumbbell our kettlebell or our uh, milk gallon okay so we're going for 60 of these okay each side does count as one rep so it is um left is one rep right is one rep left is one rep right is one rep okay and i'm doing them in sets of 10 for myself it's important to keep your core tight and maintain your breathing okay you want to keep your legs as, as straight as possible if you can stretch them out and point your toes even better 
Okay, by this time in the workout, I'm getting near the 10 minute mark and my legs were just absolutely fatigued, okay? So break them down in the workable sets for you. I believe um, I was doing them in sets of 20. Okay, so I did three sets of 20. And I will see you at the next movement. Um, enjoy those. for our round of 40 we've got these uh, side leg kicks okay um you could do them the way i'm doing them right here in a bear crawl position kicking your leg out you'll see me start to do here is um lifting uh, my opposite arm okay um right about right here see i'm lifting that arm off the ground to get more uh, range of motion there okay either way is fine you're still gonna get a good burn um doing that so um 40 of these these really start to burn in the hips and core I mean, we beat the heck out of our core today, guys, okay? So I'm breaking um, right here. And this one, I did break it down in the sets of 10, okay? So just um, remember, don't let those breaks get away from you. Have your water bottle nearby if you need it. And just keep pushing, okay? Um, remember to go at your own pace, okay? Um, there's no time limit for this one. It took, this whole workout took me about 15 minutes, but... If you want to give yourself a time limit and just get as far as you can, uh, of course you can do that. If, if you want to modify the rep scheme to maybe 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, that's on the table too. Just it depends on yourself and your skill level and, and what you have available to you. Okay, yeah, you can see that's my pain face right there. Okay, and um, we're almost done with the workout at this point. Okay, I will see you at the next movement. minute mark is creeping up on me and i've got my last 20 reps this is a kettlebell or dumbbell or a milk gallon squat snatch okay so you're catching it in the snatch position and you're squatting down okay and um just like we did in warm-up with the pvc pipe that overhead squat we definitely are going to want to keep your core tight and um keep our shoulders active okay you can see i'm dropping my kettlebell down before i've uh, reached full extension just because my body's so fatigued Okay, this was a heavier kettlebell for me, so you can see it's putting all kinds of pressure on my uh, spinal cord. Um, I, I lose my stability there, okay, and I had to um, push back up. Okay, especially after all those lunges, man, that this was hard, okay? So um, my first set was a set of eight, and then after that, I broke it down into three sets of four to finish this one off. Okay, so um, just be careful um, when you're using the kettlebell. I know it can bang into your wrist on, on the top, okay, and we don't want to let go. All right, when we get fatigued is when we're more likely to make a mistake. With the dumbbell, it's not so hard because you don't have that shifting of weight that you do with the kettlebell. So if you've got a heavy dumbbell, um, that works just as well. Okay, so we're getting near the end of the workout, guys. Just keep pushing here, keep pushing. Rest as you need to, and we're almost there.
last couple of reps. Once you get done with this, go ahead and um, take a nice long two to three minute uh, break, get some water. And we've got one more part left and that is gonna be our um, cool down for the day. So great job with the Metcon guys. Uh, it took me 1521. Let me know what your time is. And here we are, we are, have reached our cooldown. Okay guys, so we've got three movements for cooldown. Um, we're gonna start with a um, hip extension stretch. So we wanna lean that foot on a box, a bench, or a chair. You can even do this on the edge of your sofa. Okay, and keep that back foot planted if you can, okay? What this will do is um, it'll add a, a calf stretch to go along with our hip stretch on the back leg. Okay, so on all of these stretches, you wanna make sure that you're taking nice 10 second inhales, okay? so. Inhale, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, and ten, one thousand, and then exhale slowly, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, and ten, one thousand. So you should be able to get two to three of those um, breathing patterns per movement. Okay, we got about 10 seconds left in this one and we are gonna go ahead and switch legs. So, and it's normal to be more flexible on one side than the other. Let's go ahead and switch off our legs now. We've reached that one minute part. Remember to plant that back leg so that we get a nice calf stretch, a little bit of the glute, but our main target area here is the hip. Okay, and mobility is so important. Okay, and the best time to do mobility is after your workout because your muscles are already warm and um, that allows you to get deeper range of motion. And um, if you're not very mobile, it's totally normal not to be mobile, okay? So, um, but what we wanna do is build our mobility over time, okay? So we wanna get a little bit deeper on these stretches every time. You might get one millimeter deeper e each time, but I mean, over time, those millimeters are gonna add up. So we definitely wanna keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got about 10 seconds left in this movement before we move to the second movement here. Okay, and the second movement is gonna be focused more on our shoulders, okay? So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna stay near our bench. We're using the bench for all three movements or the box or your couch or whatever, a movement that's gonna elevate. And we wanna put our wrist on the bench like we're karate chopping. And you might start high on this movement here. Um, you're on your knees and you're letting your shoulders kind of dip down, your head dip below parallel, the parallel of your arms. And as you get more comfortable and you're breathing you're in your 10 second intervals with your eight second inhales, um, you should be able to dip down a little bit lower, okay? So um, just maintain that breathing. There's certain positions where your airways are compromised a little bit and this uh, for me is one of them. So um, you're breathing, you might not be able to get those deep breaths, but try and maintain it and um, focus here is more important, more important like anything else. So we definitely wanna keep that focus going, okay? And we've got a few seconds left before we get into the last of our stretches. And here we go, three, two, one. And what we're gonna do now is, um, you probably gonna want something, uh, some kind of a padding, a pillow here to uh, rest your knee on. We're gonna, it doesn't matter what leg you start into, but we're gonna get in a lunge position. Our toe is on the bench or the chair or the couch. You could even do this one against the wall. It's a little bit more, um, aggressive against the wall there see you can see me adjust there to get into a more comfortable position these things they should you should feel tension in the muscles but it shouldn't be painful okay so make sure you get it into a position that you're able to maintain throughout we've got 30 seconds left on this leg and we're going to go ahead and switch out okay this is great especially um, given all the lunges that we did over strength and in the metcon <laughs> Okay, and here we go. We're switching out that leg into our last of um, our stretches here. Okay, we're getting one minute. Okay, I'm on my right knee now here and um, we're almost there guys maintain your breathing make sure you're take, filling that chest up with air and pushing that air out um, from the bottom of your belly okay 10 seconds in eight seconds out nice and slow 
Great job with today's workout. Uh, got a nice sweat on. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series here. Okay, I hope to bring you more videos. I hope that you get off of your quarantine pretty soon and you're able to get back to your gym and stay healthy. Of course, when you get back into your gym, make sure that you're taking precautions here. We're getting into our last 20 seconds here. And remember that you could always find me online at Cross Flipper. Okay, and on, that's where I go by on Instagram. So hit me up there if you have any questions or comments. And I hope to see you guys in the box pretty soon. Great job on today's workout. And we are done with our last stretch. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Uh, take care and I will see you later.